Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to edit and merge videos inside of iSkySoft iMedia Converter Deluxe. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already launched the program so we can get started here. I'm going to start by adding a couple of video files. So I'll click on Add Files and I'll just select a few videos here and click on Open. And now we have three videos loaded into the program here. If we want to preview any of these we can just click on the play button and we can go ahead and take a look at our videos. The first thing we'll take a look at is how to trim video. So let's go ahead and trim this first video here. We'll highlight over the trim button and click on it. And to trim a video, there's a couple ways we can do it. We can drag the beginnings and ends here if we want, and that will trim it. We can also play the video, and as it's playing, click on the cut button, and that will trim it into multiple segments for us. And we can select these segments and delete them if we want. So say we remove that middle segment. What we can now do is click on merge into one file. And now we can merge these two edited segments of our video into one video and click on save. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how we can crop or rotate video. We'll go ahead and select our second video here and click on the crop button. This will load up our video and allow us to preview it. So now what we can do is rotate the video 90 degrees at a time if we want. So this is more compatible with say a phone here. And we can also flip it horizontally or vertically. I'll go ahead and pause it so you can see it here. We can flip it like that. And this is just a nice way to change how the video looks. Maybe you have a video that was filmed vertically on a phone like this and you want to rotate it so that it fills up the entire screen. This would be a great way to do it. And all we need to do to save those changes is click on OK. And now we've successfully cropped and rotated the video. Let's go ahead and add some effects to our third video here. We'll click on Effect. And again, it's going to preview our video. You can see we've got some nice colors here. We can adjust the brightness by dragging the brightness slider. We'll go ahead and bring it down a little bit. We can decrease or increase the contrast, which will change the bright and dark areas. We can also adjust the saturation, which is how strong or how not strong the colors are. So we can make it a little bit more visible by increasing it there. You can also click on Auto Enhance to automatically enhance your video based on some algorithms inside of the program. And finally, down here on the effects, we have a bunch of cool filters we can apply. So we could say apply a nice vignette, which will add a vignette on the outside, or some other ones here. We can add bubbles, some Aegean, and that will just create a nice look. I like how that looks, so we'll go ahead and keep that. Let's go ahead and go over here to the watermark section and see how we can add a watermark. We can add an image watermark or a text watermark. So I'll click on image type and load up an image here. I'm just going to use the logo for this program that we're actually using. And I'll put the watermark in the bottom right here and scale it down a little bit. And we can also change the transparency by increasing it here and just give it a nice subtle watermark look. And this is a great way to add a watermark to your videos so people can't rip them from you. Finally, let's add some subtitles to this video. I know there's not really a lot going on, but we can still add subtitles. We'll just go ahead and click on this button here next to subtitle, and I'll load up this subtitle file I have here. And you can see down there we have some subtitles. It's pretty small, so let's go ahead and increase the font size here to say 70. And now we have a much better view of our subtitles. We can also change the font of our subtitles. There's plenty to choose from here. We can change the font color to make sure it matches, but white looks really good here. We can change the outline width if we want, which you can see adds a nice black outline. We can change the color of that outline. Let's go with a dark blue here. And we can also bold, italicize, and underline our subtitles if needed. We can also change the transparency of our subtitles here, but usually 100% is fine. And finally, for subtitles, we can put them on the top, put them in the middle, or the bottom. And we can also manually adjust them to go anywhere in between. Once we're happy with that, we'll just click on OK to save our changes. And finally, let's take a look at how we can merge videos. So I'm going to merge all three of these videos into one. Firstly, I'm going to select an output format. We'll just do an MP4 here in 720p. 
And to merge all of these and put them into one video file, we'll just check merge all videos down here and click on convert all. And now it's going to convert all of our videos, apply all of our trims, crops, rotates, effects, watermark, subtitles, and combine all of the videos in our queue into one single video. And once it's complete, we'll just head on over to the converted section here. And you can see we have one video. We can go ahead and play it within iSkySoft or open it up on our computer here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can see it starts off with our plant time lapse, goes into the next video, and then goes into our third video where you can see we have our watermark, our color effects, and different effects applied to the footage, and our subtitles. Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to edit and merge videos inside of iSkySoft iMedia Converter Deluxe.